whales and we're now just entering the little Aichiri forest. Come jump up, Simbawan. Keep your eyes open and drive carefully. You should see lots of animals. I wonder if anybody saw the Okapi on the right hand side. Anybody? No. no. She, he's back right back there in the corner, along the bamboo. He's got white stripes on his legs. It's the only known relative of a giraffe. It is common to see him back in the corner because he's a very solitary, shy animal. Very difficult to see in the wild. Yellow belt sorks at the top of the hill on the left. They are carnivorous. Keep your fingers in. Coming up on a watering hole, great place to look for animals in the forest, especially some of the more endangered species we're trying to find. There's one I'm looking for in particular, a black rhino. Now they're difficult to spot for two reasons. And behind her is a calf, if anybody can see the calf up there. No ears. Oh, there's that black rhino. On the right hand side, there's a bongo at the top of the hill. There's Saddlebell Stork up in the nest on the right. Saddlebell Stork's the tallest stork in Africa. You can see him five feet tall, so you imagine how big that nest is. Here's some more bongos, the orange antelope. I was telling you about. Nicknamed the ghost of the forest for how well they blend in. There's some more kudu, greater kudu in the back there. Thanks, Nipple more aggressive than American alligators. They grow 20 feet long. It's the same as the height of a giraffe. You see it with their mouths open because they're cold-blooded. They're trying to regulate the body temperature. I do need everyone to stay seated, please. Through the trees there. Oh, my God. Oh, Trees. It looks like the roots are sticking out the top. This tree goes without leaves nine months out of the year in order to conserve water, so it looks like that must detect. Now, check out this view. We're now inside the savanna, part of the Serengeti grassland system. It stretches hundreds of miles across eastern Africa. It's a super highway for millions of migratory animals and home for some of our favorites, like lions and elephants. Here on the right, it's only fitting that the first animal we see in the reserve is the official animal of the Harambe Wildlife Reserve, the sable antelope. Those are mostly females and calves. I don't see the male. It would be all black. Their horns will grow about 60 inches long and their coat will darken with age. Gray antelope throughout here. These are white bearded wildebeest. They have the largest migratory herd of any animal in Africa of one and a half million. Here on the left hand side, Patterson Eland. Eland are the largest animal. Yeah. About two sea cattle or Ancoli cattle. They are domesticated. Their horns go six feet long. And on the left, some activity over here. Known for their great leaping ability. They can cover a distance of 30 feet in one jump, which is the full length of this truck front to back. Just a little one there, maybe uh, just a There's an antelope. Hang on, folks, we're going in. Oh, I think we're too late. Look at all these tusks and horns. This poacher 
sure have been busy. Oh, not to worry. You drop that 